Star Wars has a Star Wars problem, especially when it comes to the new movies. Welcome to Star Wars Uplink. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, the official teaser directed by Patty Jenkins, the now almost comical video of Patty Jenkins riding roller skates across this airport to get into an X-Wing. This was released December 10th, 2020. Over three years ago, this project was announced, and then it was officially like put on the back burner. Now, they didn't officially say, hey, yo, this is canceled, but they basically did. Until now. Now, apparently, everything's hunky-dory. Everything is back to what it once was, according to Patty Jenkins in a recent interview. Speaking on the Talking Pictures podcast, this is the story that we have now. Quote, when I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3 and I started working on that, we talked about maybe I'll come back to Star Wars after Wonder Woman 3. So we started a deal to make that happen. When Wonder Woman 3 went away, Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, we've got to finish this deal. We finished the deal right as the strike was beginning, so now I owe a draft of Star Wars. So we'll see what happens there. Who knows? Now, I, I think Patty Jenkins is a great director, and I, I think that she got really screwed over around the whole Wonder Woman project and James Gunn taking over the DCEU and turning it to the DCU. But when you make a choice to say, hey, I'm going to not work on Star Wars, even though we made this fancy big reveal about it. And then when your other project goes, oh, bye bye, you'd now want to work on Star Wars again. I would rather this not be a public discussion. And this is where I want to take this video. I think Star Wars has a Star Wars problem. And she mentions this in the podcast. Quote, they have a hard job in front of them. What's the first movie they're going to do? They have these other directors who have been working, but I am now back on doing Rogue Squadron. We'll see what happens. We need to get it to where we're both super happy with it. End quote. She laid out the problem right there. They have a variety of projects, but by announcing these things, putting them on the back burner, canceling them, there is now a distrust to... Lucasfilm from the fans perspective and not just from the fans perspective why would you as a director go do something in Star Wars when it just seems like they don't want to do something in Star Wars and I think visually they just have a problem with announcing things too early to capitalize on the hype and the little bit of jump to Disney's stock because that's why these projects get announced of course it's to drum up hype but it's also from a Disney perspective. That's why they have D23 to announce these big projects. It's to make a highlight to what they're doing. It's to show stockholders, hey, we're doing stuff. And our stock will probably go up if these are successes. And look at these familiar names. Look at this. We've got this person working on a Star Wars thing. We've got this other Star Wars project. And then when you cancel it, it's not that important to cancel it. Because you already got the benefit of announcing it you got the little bit of surge in the stock you got a little bit of hype and discussion online you've got a little bit of marketing you've got articles being written about you that is a big problem and it's something that we've seen time and time again with disney pushing its directors and creatives and kathleen kennedy and kevin feige to announce too many projects at one time there needs to be more of this control around what is publicly available now of course things are going to leak that's just normal stuff but when it comes to these bigger projects i think there needs to be less of a to do with announcing these projects and focusing on actually making them. There is a running joke with Star Wars movies around, I will not believe it's going to be released until my butt is in the seat and I've eaten my popcorn in the theater. Or honestly, until I've already watched the entire thing. And that is something that I think they need to get past. There needs to be more focus on what projects to actually go forward with and putting 
creatives and directors in the position to make the best projects possible. Ones that, yes, have a cohesive story, but also do something interesting with the franchise. Going in different directions, I think, is a big piece of what Star Wars needs to do going forward. Finding directors like Patty Jenkins is great, but make sure that you empower her and make sure that you respect the time necessary. And don't announce it until she actually has time to do it. Now, the whole Wonder Woman 3 thing, that was just a crap show because Warner is in such a um, upheaval right now. So, that's something completely out of control. But when you want to do a project, you cannot be mad that a project isn't moving forward when you choose creatives that don't have the time for it. Now, I'm all for, hey, waiting to get the proper creatives going because I think a director and an idea, obviously a scriptwriter, can make or break a project. We've seen it time and time again. When you look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, whether you love it or hate it, I personally despise the show, but it is messy because it has had many iterations, mostly due to behind the scenes issues that don't actually impact the story, but do impact the story. None of the decisions they made on that show are the first decisions that they wanted to make. They wanted to make a movie, and then they wanted to make 26 episodes, and then they wanted to make 12 episodes, and then they had to make 6. And we shouldn't be thinking about any of the stuff outside of the movies. We should be focusing on the movie itself, on the actual content of the movie, how it impacts Star Wars as a whole. I mean, that's why I don't make a whole lot of these kinds of videos, typically. I focus on the actual impact that movies and shows and stuff have on lore and their impact, because it's more fun to talk about lore and how it all pieces together and how it could be changed in the future, and it's a lot less fun talking about the political structure of companies and why they're making certain decisions outside of the creative process itself. I just think they should be better about vetting the projects much earlier in the process and maybe doing more stuff in preparation for a project before announcing it. And while a lot of people like to say, oh, it's Kathleen Kennedy's fault, she's ruining Star Wars, eh, blah, blah. No, this is a Bob Iger problem. This is something that he is pressured by the board of directors to have a certain amount of profits and the best way to look at profits in, in, in Disney's case is to say, hey, look at all these things that we're doing. Look at all these projects. Look at all these familiar IP that we're going to be making more of that have been a success in the past. That is why things are done like they are. So hopefully there's this deeper drive to make projects that are impactful and actually come out. Because if they never come out or they get canceled, you're going to hurt the brand's image. And we're not gonna get cool Star Wars projects, more importantly. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And as always, check out our podcast and may the force be with you.